YouTube is Jay Breezy. I'm back with another video. And today, as you'll see by the title and the thumbnail, I don't want to waste no time. Let's get straight into it. We have my $10,000 sneaker collection. That people got, got their hit his shit. No cap. YouTube is Jay Breezy. I'm back with another video. And today, as you'll see by the title and the thumbnail, I don't want to waste no time. Let's get straight into it. We have my $10,000 sneaker collection that is crazy to stay but i don't want to get straight into it i don't want to waste too much time it's the whole sneaker collection it's probably gonna be a long video or a short video i don't know get comfortable get your popcorn your snacks get your dinner get your breakfast just get something to munch on because it's gonna be a long video but we're gonna get straight into it very first sneaker we got up is in my collection the mason my harbor this is a very classic sneaker very nice very clean very demir if you've been on you know you've been hearing that very demir of me for this pickup mason mahar very nice pickup i love this shooter death even though i've only worn it two times i would wear it two thousand more times but the mason mahar Bruh, you can't lie. You, you need this shoe in your collection. Like, you need to go get this. I'm trying to find more colorways to get this shoe in. Like, I want like a bright color in the Mason Mahara. We got the off white NCA Air Force Ones in my collection. This shoe is just, this is so good. I need to find more clothes to wear this shoe with because I've got like only like two pieces of baby blue clothing but this right here the off-white mca air force ones oh my god lord may bless my soul just look at this you see somebody wearing this you're not you're not breaking your neck once or twice you're not gonna be like like that you're not gonna do that once but this shoe right here 10 out of 10 for sure off-white Air Force One MCAs, boy. If you, you sh if you don't got this in your collection, if you got the bag to get it, get this shoe immediately. We got the A6 Gel K on L14. This is one of my recent recent picks up pickups. This is a recent pickup from earlier this month. And we gonna lie, this shoe is 10 out of 10. I haven't even wore this shoe out yet. Like only time I really put the shoe on my foot was when I did the review for this channel so I, I need to pull the shoe out of my room and pull it out on the streets because this shoe right here very eye-catching very demure just that hot pink and that silver that black that white like oh my god it's just so nice I might have to uh, break my uh, break my neck if I see somebody wearing these and I ain't even gonna lie to y'all I haven't seen nobody wear these in public yet with my own eyes. Like, I might be the first to pull these out in the streets of Houston with a tough fit. So, if you see these out, it might just be me that you see. Because I, I, I don't know. I haven't seen nobody's out on the streets with these. But let's get into the next shoe. Balenciaga LED tracks. Um, LED tracks, I think my uh, battery is dead. Because last time I wore this shoe was... Uh, a Chris Brown concert, so let's see if it's on. Click. Oh, it's on, surprisingly, but yeah. LED tracks. Uh, honestly, I, I wear these here and there. They got like three wears in them, but I, I should wear them more. But by the end of this video, you're gonna wonder why some of my shoes haven't been worn more than twice. Cause I got a lot of options and I'm blessed to say that in the, in the glory of God, God did to give me the option to have all these sneakers and be able to have a big collection. So LED Balenciaga tracks. Next up, we got another pink shoe. We got the Bapestas, the pink camo, if I'm not wrong. This shoe is just 10 out of 10 beauty. Like these have a lot of wears in them, as you can see. Yeah, very a lot of wears in these, but anytime I wear this shoe, honestly, I get compliments out the, out the SSA. I get so many comments like when I wear this babe stuff right here, it's just oh, chef's kiss. You can't do nothing about it. I mean, 
you wearing this shoe on your feet and your fit look flawed, you, you gonna get compliments for sure. We got the Lambin Curb Sneakers. Pair of shoes, 1250. What you talking about? It don't get any better than this. Like, look at this. And plus, I'm a, I'm a skinny person. That's like, it's obvious that I'm skinny. So a chunky shoe on a skinny person, the best combo you can get that you can never think of. Skinny person, length, tall, chunky shoe, best combination. It's going it's, it's best you gonna get. It don't get any better than that. I promise you that. But Lavin, Curve Sneakers, Parachutes, 1250, whatever you wanna call them, the Chunky Lasers. Next up in the collection we got is the Amiri Red Skeleton Top Lows. Like, I have not pulled these out of the streets in Houston either. Cause, I mean, I got a lot of red clothing. And I got red accessories. I, I, I have the stuff to make this shoe look good. I just have not wore this shoe out in public yet. Cause I don't even know. But I need to though. Cause look, you can't even lie. This is a five shoe. It's very five. Mary, you did your you did your one with this one. But I need to do my one with wearing this outside of my room. Cause it's been in the box. Not collecting dust, but it's been tried on. Like when I'm going out and I'm trying to figure out a fit to wear. This being the like the runner up option, but then I end up choosing another shoe. So that's on me real. So I need to choose this shoe next time I go out. Facts. Balenciaga Graffiti Triple S Runner. This shoe is just chunky. I've worn it once and it was for a birthday outfit and I haven't worn it since. But if I get the chance to wear it again, trust me, I will. Cause when I wore this for my birthday outfit, it was catching people's eyes left and right. It was like, one, why is this shoe that big? Two, why is it on this skinny fool's foot? Like, this right here catches attention. It's basic, but like, you see this out in public, you gonna think that person got money. I ain't gonna lie. I was getting looked at a little sketchy. I'm like, hey, I'm just wearing sneakers on my feet. But Balenciaga Graffiti Runners, and if you can see, I know y'all gonna think the shoe is dirty. I wore them once. It's called a graffiti design. It's supposed to look dirty. Cause of graffiti. Make your mind make sense. Okay, okay. The Rick Owen hot tops, the OPMs. Very the mirror, very you know, you dig? I wore these once. No, I wore these no, yeah, I wore these I think I've worn these once or twice. I don't know which number it is. But I wore these once or twice, but I know I've worn them once though. I worn them once to where I took my birthday pictures. If you follow me on IG, go follow me on Instagram. I took pictures on Instagram and I posted in a full leather outfit with these Rick Owens. And I'm pretty sure I haven't worn them since. But I need to wear them again because it is getting sweater weather soon, real soon. It is hot right now, but it will be sweater weather soon. And I'm pretty sure I will be pulling out the Rick Owens at least once during this fall slash winter season. For sure. So, Rick Owens. We calm it down real quick. We calm it down. That's like mainly all the designer that's in the collection. But right now, we got Travis Scott Air Force One Lowe's. I forgot what the name of this colorway was. I think it's called the Sail. If I'm not wrong. Do your research for me in the comments. But this is the Travis Scott Air Force One sales. These have been beat to the ground. As you can tell. I mean, they look clean. Because I clean my shoes for sure. I clean my shoes for sure. But like, these, they need a little cleanup. Cause you see that fat crease on the front? Yeah, that's not it, buddy. Mm -mm, not it. But Travis Scott Air Force One Lows. Another one is Travis Scott Jordan One Low. I got the red laces in them. I got two wears in them. Cause both times I wore them, I wore them to work. But like, I only wore them because it was like it wasn't a long shift, and I wasn't really doing nothing. So. I just wore them to work to go with the work fit. You, you feel what I'm saying? But Travis Scott, Jordan 1 Low, you know, very demure. 
very dipsy of me to pick this Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe because I got the Air Forces and I was like, I kind of need the Jordan 1 Lowe's. So I picked up the Mo Mocha Reverse Lowe's. I'm debating about getting the Jordan 1 Highs in the Travis Scott colorway. I'm debating about it. I don't know if I want to do it yet. Should I do it? We have in the collection. Basically something you should start your collection on with. Air Jordan 4 Black Cats, classic. Uh, I beat this up the very first month I wore the shoe. I got the shoe in the mail and I beat it up and damn near wear it every day the first month. Let's just say that, like literally, like, it's an all black shoe. What can you not wear an all black shoe with? As long as you have a black top or black bottoms, you can wear this shoe literally. Like I wear this shoe at a grocery store, rodeo last year when I went. I don't even know, I just wear this shoe everywhere. And I thought I beat the shoe up to the ground, but I probably did and I probably cleaned the shoe. That's why it looks clean right now. But Air Jordan 4, Black Cat. Black Cat Jordan 4. It's probably an essential in the sneaker collection. But let's get to the next shoe. But this sneaker right here, I completely beat up because I went muddy right after the mall and I wasn't prepared. And I had the Air Jordan 4 Lightnings in my hand. Um, yeah, they have no laces in them because I tried cleaning them and kind of gave up in the process. Now, I will allow y'all to be mad in the comments about this because I went muddy and was impaired. So on the bottom of the shoe, it, it's just this. So, um... Can yeah help me find someone to clean these? Cause these these Jordan Lightning Fours right now, if I'm gonna be honest, they're in retirement. I mean this shoe is retired. It's been retired for about two years now, so um let's help me unretire the Jordan 4 Lightning. Please. That that would help a lot. It would make my life somewhat easier. So I can make this shoe come out its box because I only took it out the box just for this video. We got the Bread 11s. This used to be my dream shoe for a cool minute. Like back in middle school, this was my dream school. Like I was dying down to get this shoe. Like I was like, I need this shoe. Like SpongeBob said, I need it. So you know what I did? I got it. Who will stop me? Nobody. The day I got this shoe, I literally wore it in front of my mirror for 30 minutes. And looked at myself, I was like, damn, I'm him. Air yeah, Jordan Bread 11. I don't know who's Bigfoot self is walking through the house right now, but they need to stop because I'm recording. My used to be dream shoe, so now I don't really know what my dream shoe is now. I just be getting sneakers at this point, but hey, I love it though. <laughs> Cooling down, we get into a regular sneakers now. So we went from designer to Jordan. To regular sneakers now, you know. So next up, we got the all black Air Force. You know, these are my beaters. I mean, when I say these are my beaters, these are my beaters. You got, I don't know what that is on the back of the shoe, on the bottom of the shoe. I don't know what that is. Uh, these are my beaters. Fat crease on the front, as per usual. Um, my lace tips on there are falling off the shoe. Whatever this thing is, whatever this thing is, that inside the shoe, yeah, it's inside out. My laces to hold my laces in place, yeah. So, th this shoe is basically a beater. But if you know, if I got the all black Air Force One, I got the all white Air Force One. This is an essential in your collection. I, I, I promise to you, if you don't have an Air Force One that's all white in your collection, you need help with your life. Because why do you not have this? This $100 shoe in your collection. I I put this on my soul. This shoe will never, ever go out of style in nobody's life. Like, as long as I live, this shoe will be in style. I, I promise you that. We can promise Pinky. We can Pinky promise. This shoe will always be in style. For sure. I got the all red Air Force One. You know, very nice. Very 
Hear me of me, but was it a smart choice getting this shoe? No. But later on in time, yes, because I got a lot of red clothing. And at the time I got the shoe, it went with a lot of fits. And it still does. So, um, yeah, I kind of wear this shoe a lot, you know. It goes with a lot of fits that I've been just putting out there. Like when I'm running to do something quick, like a quick errand or something, I just throw this shoe on. It's not too much, but it's not too little. It's like the perfect, it's not the perfect balance, but it's a balance. You mean, that makes sense? But yeah, I read Air Force One. Hey, one of one. You heard it here first. Let me, let me repeat that for you. A one of one. A one of one custom Air Force One in my collection. As you can see, I got this shoe customized by somebody in my family. If you want to hit him up, if you want to hit him up, I just mumbled hard. If you want to hit him up, hit me up. I'll send you his information and y'all can get something going. But this was a custom sneaker for prom when I was a junior in high school. And yeah, as you can see, this just, this just, this just asks for attention. You don't see nobody else with this shoe. Like when I wear this, I I'm asking for attention at this point. It's like, why does this man have crystals, diamonds, bedazzled, rhinestones, whatever on his shoe? That's how I get the attention every time. But one of one, all white custom Air Force. I wear these a lot and I'm proud to be a good owner with growl. I'm proud to be a good owner of a custom Air Force One because I always wanted a custom Air Force One. Like, why not? Why not have a custom Air Force One? A few moments later. I got the CDG Air Force. Oh my God, this is how you know I'm talking. I got the CDG Converse's high tops, parts all across the back. You feel me? Very nice, very clean, very demure of me. This is like a clean shoe. You can't even lie. This is just like that shoe. Like I wear this here and there. Like I don't try to beat up the shoe, but I also try to like keep it for like not special occasions, but like for a shoe I pull out every once in a while. Like oh, you still got that shoe type of thing. But yeah, CDG Converse's, not just the one heart, all around. But I'm pretty sure. A, uh, in a day when the time comes i'm gonna get this single heart high top converses just because it's having the collection because why not new balance 9060s this is like a favorite in my collection i pull it out every once in a while because i don't have a lot to wear with this but when i do pull it out it's very a very clean fit like you got the fluffy laces little little hair fluff you got that neutral color going around with the green to accent it like this shoe is comfortable and styling at the same time and plus the last time i wore this shoe i wore this with a jumpsuit like a little two-piece like a hoodie and, and some sweatpants that go together yeah th th this just this just be like my comfy shoe like if i'm not in the mood to wear slides but i still don't want to do too much with my fit i throw these on with a jumpsuit or a two-piece set continuing on the new balance run i got new balance 30 absorbs in the gray and white color this this is a classic shoe i haven't worn this shoe in a while due to reasons but i need to pull the shoe back out for many reasons because this is a gray and white shoe and this just goes with everything like i mean it doesn't go with everything but it goes with a lot of things um my mom's alarm is going off i hope y'all don't hear that that means the sun is about to rise outside of my window because that alarm means that's but besides the point new balance 530 absorbed just very clean shoe just very comfy shoe i need to start pulling it out more and stop hiding it in my collection because it'd be in his box. But 530 New Balance Absorbs. The Nike Dunk UNC Blue. As you can see, I beat these up a little bit, but Dunks, I've honestly grew out of them. Like, honestly, 
why have a Nike dunk in your collection anymore? Like, Nike dunks, y'all had a good one. But you're just sitting in my room now. There's not a time and day where I'm like, okay, let me go wear a Nike dunk to the mall. Or let me go wear a Nike dunk to a restaurant. I don't have those days no more. It's like, rest in peace to the Nike dunk days. Heavenly. Like, good luck. I'm not saying I hate you if you wear a Nike dunk, but it's like, Nike dunks don't have no hype no more. It's just like, oh, okay, you're wearing a Nike dunk. Everybody got them now. Like, I remember when we used to cherish the Nike dunk. I remember we used to cherish this shoe. But now it's just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> Same thing with this shoe. This shoe right here, the Nike Panda dunk, got burnt out. And you can't even lie. You can't sit up here and lie to me that this shoe got burnt out. The Nike Panda dunk, I got this when it first came out for retail. Before the hype. After four releases of four more restocks, there was no reason to not to have this shoe or wear it anymore. Because everybody in their grandma and their family tree had the Nike Panda Dunk. Everybody had this shoe. Literally. Everybody had this shoe. What was the point of having this shoe if everybody has it? So, Nike Panda Dunk. But mentioning about a shoe everybody has. This shoe right here, the Vans Canoe School. Everybody and their mom is starting to get this shoe. And is it pissing me off? Low key? Yes, it is. Because I don't style this shoe no more. I just wear this shoe. Like, there's no fun with this shoe no more. There used to be fun with this shoe. Like, I used to have fun with this shoe. I used to style this shoe down. Like, I'm talking about, I had metal accessories and all. Oh, but now I just wear the shoe. Like, when I'm bored, I'm going to run that quick errand. I just throw these on with a bummy outfit. Let me repeat that. A bummy outfit. I used to wear this shoe with a real outfit. But now it's a bummy shoe. It degraded in my like collection level. It went from being in the rotation to not being in the rotation. But Vans Canoe School. If you got these, I mean, you cool, I guess. <laughs> And I didn't end with just a regular shoe. I'm going to end with a designer shoe because that's what my collection is transitioning into. I got a designer shoe on the way for an unboxing, actually. So if you're watching it and making it this far in the video, I got a designer shoe for a video. Louis Vuitton orange tra trainer sneaker. If I'm not wrong, these trainer sneakers, yeah, I love these shoes. Anytime I go to an Astros game, I'm wearing this shoe. That's the main reason why this shoe is in my collection. I always pull this out when I go to a Houston Astros game. Like, anytime I wear this, it's orange, goes with the colors. And I got a custom jersey now. Because last time I went to Astros game, I got connections. And, you know, I made something happen. Yeah. Just know, anytime I go to a Houston Astros game, this shoe is being pulled out for sure. But lastly, to end off the collection... It's a strange shoe, but it's in my collection. And I want y'all to know that I have this shoe in my collection. If you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. But the final shoe in my collection is a black and orange Healy. I have Healy's in my collection. Now you may be wondering, why do you have Healy's in your collection? Well, I'm gonna tell you this. Why not have Healy's in my collection? Why not have this sneaker in my collection? On a day I'm bored, I can just go outside and roll down my sidewalk. Roll down the streets of my neighborhood with a shoe. Like, this is a shoe that had a moment in my younger days. Like, elementary school, this was the shoe that took over. And I just had to get another pair. So I bought another pair, and when I'm not doing nothing, and when I'm bored, and I don't know what to do, I throw on my Heelys, I take my light skin butt outside, and go have some fun. And with that being said, that is my sneaker collection.